Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday live stream. And uh, what a day it is. I have to tell you, if you're here right now, congratulations, because <laughs> this is uh, some of the tougher times to get through. But I have to tell you, I think it'll all be OK as time goes on. So first of all, let's talk about the dumpage that is this crypto market. And this just uh, came out from Ash Crypto, creator since 2000 or trader since 2007. Grayscale has transferred another 17,000 Bitcoin worth 663 million to Coinbase. And that just popped off about a half an hour ago. So expect more downside as we see a little bit of dumping. Now, of course, we can take a look at this and we can say, this is the worst thing of all time. Or this is one of those days where you have to just think to yourself, what's the best thing for me? What do I want to do? Do I want to sell and get out because this is too much uh, for me to handle? Or do you think, think to yourself, you know what? It's kind of like going to Macy's and they have this massive sale, 20, 30% off. Nobody ever runs away from that. Usually everybody's attracted to sales. It's only in these markets where people look at this and go, you know what, I'm out. I just can't take this type of thing. And I think that's one of the problems that we have. So I just have to tell you, if you're here right now, you're probably in a pretty good position because you followed the rules. And the rules were, it's all gone. You didn't invest more than you can afford to lose. You understand that everything's a scam. You have to, you have to make it, prove it until you go on. You didn't leave everything on exchanges. You learned how to use a cold storage device as things collapsed. You didn't use leverage or maybe a little bit. I am, I'm, I'm not averse to that. And hopefully, hopefully, you've taken profits along the way. If you followed these five simple rules we've laid out over the last two years or three years or so, this is a pretty good day. So yes, we're going to see more dumping. That's just normal. And how does the market respond? Eh, not really much. In the last hour, Bitcoin has not budged. So it's still at 0%, but over 24 hours is down three and over seven days is about eight and a half percent. If you are here and you've just got in and maybe you're from traditional finance and you were telling everybody about uh, the Bitcoin ETF was going to pop off, sorry, it doesn't work like that. It's, uh, you have to put in the, the blood, sweat and tears. Everybody who's been here, the Rusty Bots, the Tesla, Thomas, Crypto Golfer, Revy, Crypto Esquire, all you guys, Ben's Chair, Nas, you guys understand that this is a, a war of attrition. And all you got to do is just stick around. Usually uh, things work out okay. So today, unfortunately, one of those red days, and you can look at it one of two ways, like we always talk about. This is awful, and it's going to keep sliding, which me personally, I hope it does. Or you think to yourself, maybe I should get out because this is just too much for me. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your dad. But... Uh, for me, I'm just going to stick around. Even my wife had to send me a message this morning. She's like, hey, I'm down like 10% on my, my Coinbase account. What should I do? I said, what do we talk about, sweetheart? You got to keep buying. This is where millionaires are made. We're not made in the bull run. We're made in this nonstop war of attrition where everything's sliding down. And it's a red day. And everybody's kind of scared because they don't know if it's going to keep going, which I think it is. You just keep going. It's like Winston Churchill says, when you're going through hell, just keep going. Not that this is hell, but it is what it is. So I just want to give everybody a reminder, and everybody's going to pull out this tried and true chart. This is uh, from a friend of mine, Joe Nash. And uh, he uh, put a reminder that, hey, remember that in the bull run, not just in a bear market, but in a bull run, we have major pullbacks. This is from 2017. It's just like 20, end of 2016 going to 2017, and the pullbacks are better. And this was in the bull run. And I... And I like this. I appreciate it, you know, back in the day. But I made a new one recently. And this is one that I like to like to roll out to remind everybody, even in the bear market, to get to where we are supposed to go. And I think we're going to see some pretty great gains because we're not going to get screwed over with all the different shenanigans that were going on behind the scenes, the three arrows capital, the nonstop loans, the Ponzi's that were uh, the Celsius the BlockFi's and the Voyagers and the FTX's, that stuff is going to go away and it's going to shed us into hopefully a new greater bear or bull market. But look at this. From January 1st, 2021, which again, in the four-year cycles, 2021 is a pretty good year. Every four years, we, we tend to go on like these huge major run-ups and we're due for one coming up in 2025, maybe 2024, who knows. But remember this, even when things are going great, you still get 25% drops and you go up 90%, and you go down 22, and you go up 30 and 18, so on and so forth. Remember this one? This was like towards the end of May in 2021. Everybody thought that was like the top. Actually, everybody thought the top was April. 
or no, 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 excuse me. People didn't think it was a top. People just thought, oh, we're going to keep going. It's going to be awesome. We might have a little pullback and went 26%. And we went to 18 and nobody saw this 65% drop. Okay. I take that back. There's going to be somebody in the comment section who's going to say, I called it the whole time. I knew it was going to drop there. I've timed it perfectly. For you, congratulations. For the 99.99% of people who are watching this video, you didn't see this coming. I was one of them. But these are the things you have to be, be aware of. And it dropped 65% into August. It went from over 60,000 down to under 40K. It was like 32K, somewhere around there. And then we rallied again. We rallied up 43, 24 until we hit the cycle all-time high of roughly 67, 68,000, correct me in the comment section. And that's just how volatile it is. So today, if you're thinking to yourself, man, it's a pretty awful day. This is the this is just getting into the bull market. I still think we've got a lot of different ways to go. So the question is, what do you want to do? Is this the day to say, you know what? Actually, there's really three options. The option one is you pull out and say, you know, that's good. I had a good run. Fantastic. I'm out of here. The second option is you just say, you know what? I'm just going to sit on my hands and just see what happens. And the third option is I'm going to keep buying. Me personally, because I have followed the rules, I've not gone all YOLO'd in to these different uh, cryptos. I'm buying more today. And as the price starts to slide down, I use Ben's website and in the Cryptoverse, you know, those different risk levels, which there's a link in the description for a video about that. I know that the risk levels are decreasing. And when they decrease, that means I actually buy more. And that's where I'm at right now. Again, this could be totally wrong. Everything can go to zero. Who knows? This is investing. But I think we got a lot of room to run. Anyhow, let me know what you think about all that in the comments section. And then before I move on, I just want to remind people that at some point, I mean, we, we talk about buying. Everybody talks about buying. They love talking about it. They'll tell you until they're blue in the face that you got to buy the dip, bro, and diamond hands. But you have to remember this. This is a tweet I put out. And I said, just keep dumping on me. I don't care. You can dump, you can dump, you can dump, and I will keep buying your bags. But you cannot cry and complain to me when the bull market comes and we are all offloading. Our job, or excuse me, not our job, my job, is to invest, to appreciate, to take profits. That is it. It is my job for, as people dump and they take those cryptos and say, I don't want these anymore. It's my job to say, you know what? If you don't want those, I will hold on to those and I will keep this market afloat as best as I possibly can. I'm just a little small guy. But don't complain to me when I do videos and I talk about I'm selling today. I'm selling a lot today. I'm selling a boatload today. And there is a video in the description of all my videos where I talk about when I will drop 80% of all my crypto. You're welcome to watch that because as soon as I do that, I will step down from this channel until the next bear market. So just as a reminder, I don't want to hear anybody's crying. So that takes care of that piece. Next up, and then we'll get into a little Q&A, is uh, I made a mistake, <laughs> which I do. I, I make a lot of mistakes. You can ask my wife, she'll tell you. Da, da, da. But on our second channel, Dan DGen, um, well, two things. First of all, if you got into the Farcana, uh, it's a Web3 game. It's, uh, it's based out of uh, UAB, and uh, it's got a lot of huge backing. Uh, it's uh, eSport backing G2, one of the largest... Uh, gaming esport teams out there, and they they teamed up with a uh, a studio 300 strong, and they created Farcana, which is a AAA rated game, and they're giving the in the game it's a play to win, and you win Bitcoin, and I just it was like a no brainer. So we talked about this two weeks ago. The IDO or initial dex offering was today, and if you got in for the early rounds of IDO, you're pretty much up about 10 to 12 12 x. So congratulations. I just want to remind everybody. And if you're up that much, it would behoove you to take profits. Again, don't say, ah, oh, Rob, talk about this project. And then it went up 10x and I couldn't, I did, then it went down and I didn't make it. That's, I, that's, I don't want to hear it. So there's that piece. And then on uh, another one we just did on IvanPay, this was my screw up. I, uh, I had a, uh, the, the tokenomics that I got that was incorrect. The tokenomics I had for, Seed round private one and private two equaled up to 52%. And the public round was 3.33%. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it is. But that was incorrect. I'm sorry. 
Uh, whoops, let me go down here. Well, at some point, let's see. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, get to, I get to look at all this stuff. Ah, let me refresh this. Sorry. Ah, here we go. So that was incorrect. The new uh, white paper, the private round is 7.5%. Private, 68 Influence around 4% and public sale 5%. So just so everybody knows, I got in this one in the influencer round. So I, well, it's about the same thing actually. I actually have, uh, I only get 15% on token generation event and you guys get 30%, so yeah, whatever. Anyhow, uh, that's what's going on with uh, Ivan Pay. Again, links in the description, you can check it out why I think it's gonna do pretty well. It's essentially allowing merchants, business to business and business to consumers to use up to 84 different crypto projects as payments and to give people massive discounts. So uh, there is that piece. And then lastly, before we get out of here and do a little Q and A, um, there was this term I heard in one of the groups I'm at, it was called blue chip meme coin. And I know it sounds ridiculous as Plasma, born on Solana. There's, it sounds, and Crypto's Common Joe is pretty much right. When we talk about these things, about these meme coins and things like that, people are like, why, why are we even getting into this? I, ha I have to make this crystal clear for everybody because I did a video on Bonk about a month, two months ago, somewhere around there. And I said, Bonk will be in the top 100. And this is one was like 176. It went all the way up to like 68, I think. And now it's down again. But just like how we have people in traditional finance and people will tell them, hey, you know, you might want to look into Bitcoin and add this to like your portfolio, maybe one to 2%. It's a gamble. Bitcoin is a gamble. It's not as stable as say like uh, gold or say the S&P 500. We got that, but maybe you want to take a look at that. For me, when we talk about meme coins, I just want to make everybody this clear is that these are also enormous gambles. But for me, like moving forward, like I just look at this, I'm like, because I put bonk, I, it was like 0.5% of my portfolio. And I made some outrageous gains on there. They don't do anything. There's nothing like, I mean, the community, people talk about the community, whatever else. But when we when we see these things, and if I talk about these things, it's just because these are just gambling plays. I actually had dog with hat. I made a little bit of a profit, but not as much. And then there's the, this one called Myro, Samoy, Popcat. I don't know if it's an Analos. I think James even talked about this one, which is crazy. But these are all Solana uh, meme coins. And I just think that uh, it's interesting that like, as far as like market cap, like Bonk has 629 million, Dog of Hat 260, and this one called Myro has 163 million. I might get into some of these. But again, if you do, just be aware that uh, they're pretty much worthless and uh, they're just for, for funsies and gambling. So let me just think about that in the comments. And then, la and then um, again, I just wanna tell everybody about what's uh, coming up. So I've been kind of a little frantic, busy. We just had a, I just had an interview recently with Ed Chang. He is the uh, director of Web3 Gaming over at Avalanche. And uh, it was a great interview. I'm going to put that out hopefully this week. And uh, there's a lot of good things coming up. So I'll release that. Also yesterday, I had an interview with Ilya, who is the founder of Near Protocol. And some of the things he was talking about, about what they're doing, it just makes me extremely bullish on Near as well. So I got to get those two out. And then this morning, I had an interview with the folks over at Token Site, which is an aggr a DEX aggregator. The things you can do with this, I mean, it's pretty amazing. I mean, limit orders, buy, sell. I mean, these are things that you can do in some DEXs as well. I, I got it. Orca and uh, Jupiter, you can do these things. But token sniping, snipe, snipe, sniping, copy trading, this thing called DEX listing and confluence, I think is a real game changer. And then also they have like these custody wallets that you can do and you can use your own biometrics to create one. It's pretty cool. I, I'll, I'll get the video out as soon as I can. And then uh, also what I plan to do is, um, because let's be honest, like some of this trading and us getting into it, we, it makes us a little bit frazzled, even me sometimes. So I want to do something a little bit light and fun. 
And if you follow me over on X, I just asked everybody if they could do me a favor and post their best crypto memes of the week. And I'm gonna do a show exclusively on X that just deals with memes, just to talk. And I gotta tell you, some of these are really funny. Like this one's good. Five, let's see. The internet of money should not cost five cents per transaction. That's kind of absurd. That was Vitalik Buterin in 2014. That's hilarious. Ah, I shouldn't show that one. Anyhow, I can only show these things on X. So uh, when we do the show, I'll let everybody know, but <laughs> it looks pretty good. And then also I need to dig into, uh, Jesus Martinez just put a tweet out. Great kid, great smart guy, uh, really on top of everything with Web3. And Go Gala Games just, let's see. I was kicked out of the Gala's creator program. I created a video showing my commitment to the Gala community and I'm gonna keep with that. But with or without Gala's game support, I will make sure that my community gets the information needed to continue to come and I'll figure this out. But I just wanna say that I, I think it's a shame that somebody like Jesus who works so hard and does all these different great videos about Web3 and you know, you know, making, making great content and honest content that uh, for some reason, Go Gala didn't like something and kicked him out. It is what it is. I gotta figure that out why that happened. And then lastly, if you're so inclined, it is uh, in about 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna be over on uh, Sin City Crypto. And we're gonna talk about, I guess, Solana, and we're gonna do some portfolio reviews. So that'll be in like around 30 minutes. But that's it for this side of the show. If you wanna jump over there, there's a link in the description. Uh, follow me over there to Sin City, and I'll answer more questions. And we'll talk about Solana and we'll do like a little portfolio reviews and stuff like that. But that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is extremely time sensitive. Things are going to really accelerate uh, moving into the halving. We've only got 91 days to go, correct me in the comments. And when that happens, it's going to be fireworks, but it's going to be very, very volatile. And we'll talk about why. But that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you.